What's good, y'all? Al Famous, living my life, not thinking about it twice. Don't be scared to like, subscribe, or share this dope content if you like it. Let's get it. Yeah, let's get it. Now, this joint is a little jailhouse joint about when me and when my, when my guy got blown in another jail, you heard? And um, we wound up catching, with the, catching up with the dude in another jail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Sometimes it happens like that. You might have the upper hand in one jail, and the dude that you just did something to might have the upper hand in the other joint. Yeah, man. That's how it go, man. You know what I'm saying? So make sure when you're moving out there, you're moving correct. You heard? And you don't burn no bridges. You heard? And if you start a beef and you start a war, be ready for it. Yeah, man. So this one goes about my, 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 my little homie. You heard? I'm going to keep him nameless. You heard? And my little homie, you know what I'm saying? He was in, he was, he was, he was, he was Moon. You heard? He was Moon. And he was a young homie. He was only 19. You know what I'm saying? He turned Diamond in the street. You know what I'm saying? Like around 1999, 2000s, a lot of bloods that was coming in jail. They was, they was blood on the street. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't blood in jail. They was blood from the street. So blood, from, bloods in the street. Had to learn the politics of the bloods in jail. You know what I'm saying? Because just because you was wild and bugging on the street don't mean that you're going to come to jail and you're going to be wild and bugging in jail. You know what I'm saying? And like people going to accept you like that because our bloods were still broken down to cliques and crews. You understand what I'm saying? Even though you had sets, you had dudes that still was cliques and crews. You understand what I'm saying? Because I was even had my crews and clicks when I was down with Diamond. Moon. Now, make a long story short, this dude came to prison, right? And he landed in Auburn, right? And when he landed in Auburn, you know, Auburn had a, had a lot of bloods in it. You know what I'm saying? They was thick. They was moving the crowd. You know what I'm saying? And I heard that, you know, it used to be going down in Auburn. Auburn is one of them jails that has a lot of blind spots. You know what I'm saying? Has a few blind spots. Like... Auburn, they say Auburn got a few blind spots in the jail that, you know what I'm saying, that's why a lot of some dudes be dying in Auburn, you know what I'm saying, dudes be catching bodies in Auburn, you know what I'm saying, and um, it's a dangerous jail, and the Bloods, you know, Bloods was doing their thing in it, I heard they had their numbers, I heard the, the Bloods that was in there was doing their thing, you know, they had their weight up, you know what I'm saying, they was doing what they were supposed to be doing, you know what I'm saying, because there was a lot of bloods in there that had been in jail for a long time, you know what I'm saying, then you got a lot of bloods in there that was with the drama, you know what I'm saying, and um, in, in every jail, you got bloods that's with the drama, you got bloods that's chilling, you got bloods that's with the drama, and you got bloods that's following, you know what I'm saying, so basically, in Auburn, it's, you know, it always was official. It always, they always said that Auburn had official homies. Well, in this instance, this homie, he a young homie, he only 19 years old. He land in Auburn. He only got a two to four. But I guess because he got that blood on his jacket, you know what I'm saying? They got him in the max. You know what I'm saying? Because he got a, he got a, he got a two to four. You know what I'm saying? But they got him in Auburn. You know what I'm saying? His first jail was Auburn. You heard? So when he went to Auburn. You know what I'm saying? He saluted all the homies. All the homies saluted him and everything and this and that, that and this. But on his third day in Auburn, they was like, yo, you, it's, it's, it's fool on your company. You heard? It's a dude on your company. He fooled. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. You heard? So, boom. So, it was two homies. It was two homies on the company with... On with him, you know what I'm saying? So they said, yo, the dude is fool. We want both of y'all homies to get at him. You heard? So boom. So boom. The homies got at the dude. You heard? Boom. But the dude got right back. You know what I'm saying? The dude had a little burner. You know what I'm saying? Had a little pick or whatever or something. And he got back at niggas. Like he was getting it, he was getting it in with niggas. So boom. So make a long story short, homeboy went locked back in his cell and and, and um and um, basically, dudes was waiting for homeboy to come out. But homeboy never came out. You know what I'm saying? But then when homeboy did come out, he, he popped off on another homie. You know what I'm saying? Boom. But this time, he blew a homie. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. So, now, the bl the, 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 the blood, the, my little man that they sent on a mission to do something to him popped off on him. But he, he couldn't pop off on him but too much because homeboy had a weapon. And homeboy was getting right. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. Make a long story short, when my little man went to the yard, 
whole, he pulled up with the homies, and the homies was like, "Yo, what's good, man? You everything good? You boom, 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 boom. What happened with the with the home, with homeboy? Why you ain't get at him? You know what I'm saying? Why he ain't out of here? So, yo, man, I did get at him, but you know, boom, boom, he had a weapon, boom, boom. So we was getting it on. You know what I'm saying? Look, he he poked me right here. You heard? But no, 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 it was nothing, bull, nothing, like, nothing real. I could hold it down. So the homie was like, oh, all right, all right, don't worry about it. We're going to put two other homies on. We're going to put another homie on them, all right? Don't worry about it. Boom. So now my little man spinning the yard, not thinking about nothing. The next thing you know, two homies come up to him, and one of them blow him. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Blow him in his face. Now my homie, he a pretty boy. Light skin, pretty boy on his pretty boy joint. Like I said, he only 19. Boom. They cut his face. Boom. So now, boom, they put, they put him in IPC. You heard? He just got snaked by the bloods. You know what I'm saying? The bloods told him to pop off on a nigga. He popped off, but it ain't go like how they wanted it to go. So basically, they they blew him. What part of the game is that? But that's what was happening up there. A lot of that was happening up there. You know what I'm saying? I was saving a lot of homies. Niggas would be like, yo, man, we're going to cut the homie. Homie food. This and that. I'd be like, for what? Niggas just was with the homie. I'm um, 031, um, eating together, laughing, joking, smoking, busting down cigarettes, all that together. Now, all of a sudden, y'all talking about y'all going to eat the homie over nothing. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of homies. Like like I said, if I rocked with you, boom, I was putting me and my team behind you. But if I didn't rock with you like that, I mind my business, B. Because there was a lot of dudes that, you know what I'm saying, they be on some following joint. And and, and then when they follow themselves into the wrong path... <laughs> they, they try to look for help You know what I'm saying But by that time it's too late And them same dudes that you were following Be the same dudes that flipped on you Yeah Remember that I told you that Them same dudes that you following in prison it Be the same dudes that flip on you You heard Listen to their stories I'm just keep, keeping it real Listen to their stories I'm telling you Prison is a, is a foul place Dudes in there Be trying to talk about they got honor and all that There's only a handful of dudes That's running around with honor and respect in loyalty, you understand what I'm saying? A lot of them dudes preach it, but they don't got it. They don't got it, and I'm keeping it real. So boom, they packed my man up. They threw him in IPC, packed him up. IPC is involuntary PC. You understand what I'm saying? Whenever you get cut, stabbed, or a, a fight, or and they don't, and either they know they caught the person, or they don't know who did something to you, you can go in IPC. You heard? Especially if you don't want to sign in the PC, you heard? You go on IPC, involuntary PC, you heard? Protective custody, you heard? So they threw him in IPC and they threw him on a draft. Then they send him to the new joint, Wendy, you heard? So now we in Wendy. We in Mindy, Wendy for like six, seven months. He tell me the story. He ain't blood no more. I ain't blood no more. I ain't feeling the story. I ain't feeling how the bloods did him. So I threw him up under the wing. He was a skinny dude when I met him. You heard? Seven months later, the dude was was right. When I say right, I'm talking about right. He wasn't all that cock diesel because he was a skinny dude. So what I did while him working out with me, what I did or what I did was cut him up. That nigga was cut up something crazy, you heard? And he looked at like something, you heard? Everybody was complimenting him in the jail. You know what I'm saying? So boom, like about five, six, about seven months later, one day he tell me that the dude, one of the dudes that has something to do with him getting cut, one of the blood dudes that had something to do with him getting cut came to the joint. You heard? Boom. But he wasn't in our block. You know what I'm saying? He was in another block. But he was going the program with niggas. You know what I'm saying? So boom. So I told I told the little homie, I said, yo, don't even worry. The little homie was going to risk his date. The little homie had a date to go home in a year. He was about to risk his date to go home, of going home. By blowing this dude, you heard? But this ain't the dude that, that stabbed him or cut him, you heard? This is a dude that has something to do with it. Because sometimes when you got a problem with a nigga, it be a whole bunch of dudes that be against you, you know what I'm saying? Whoever that dude friends with, whoever comrades with that dude, whoever didn't like you already, them all them dudes is against you or they want to see something happen to you, you know what I'm saying? So basically, you know what I'm saying, um, he was one of the dudes that was down with it, him getting cut by the bloods. By the, his own bloods Because he, he put in work But the work didn't go as they planned You know what I'm saying But that's what they did For trying to put a young dude That just got up north On a seasoned vet Because that was happening a lot too With them down mood dudes You know what I'm saying That's what took them down You know what I'm saying That black on black You know what I'm saying The same brotherly love oppression That they came together for That they were fighting over 
huh, they wind up started doing it to each other. Yeah, that's why I left the Bloods because it was a lot of backbiting, a lot of dudes, you know what I'm saying, snaking each other. Um, a lot of it wasn't really no really love, you know what I'm saying. It was a lot of dudes preying on dudes, you know what I'm saying, and only the strong survive. And it's still like that. Only the strong survive. You heard? And I'm telling y'all youngsters, man, leave that gang life alone. It's whack. It's suckery. You heard? All they gonna do is snake you at the end. You know what I'm saying? That's all they gonna do. If you make it to be any to any level in the gang, they're gonna snake you at the end. And I'm just telling you the truth. You heard? But you know, gang life ain't for everybody. Some people could deal with it, some people can't. You know what I'm saying? But boom. So now this dude come. So I tell my little man, I said, chill, B, you go home, B. Don't blow this dude. He ain't worth risking your your date to go home by blowing him, you know what I'm saying? And plus, he ain't the dude that cut you or stabbed you, you heard? He's just the dude that was down with it. So you know what you do? We gonna knock that nigga head off, you understand what I'm saying? So he was like, all right, boom, how we gonna knock his head off? I said, we gonna wait till we land in the block with him, we go to gym, and we gonna knock that nigga head off, you heard? You know what I'm saying? So boom, that's exactly what happened. We waited till we landed in gym. It took about two weeks before our block and his block companies landed in gym at a certain time, and. Word to my mother, my man just said it on him. He came up to my man, tried to give my man a pound, like, yo, what's up, man? He already been having a little dialogue with my man through, um, through, when they see each other in the hallway or whatever, but now they, they really around each other. You know what I'm saying? So my man, he tried to act regular cool with my man, thinking that my man was something sweet. My man just said it on him. Wah, whoop, wah, whoop, wah. I just came and kicked him. Boom. Getting my little kicks and hits and boom, but I'm letting my man fight the nigga, you heard? Because we in the um we in the workout area in the gym, you heard? And in, in, in the gym is a little room for the workout area. So boom, I'm let him and my man going at it, going at it, going at it, going at it. Boom, boom. I'm getting my little kicks and hits in there. Boom, 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 boom. But it don't he had, he had one nigga down with him, but the nigga ain't want no smoke because them niggas wasn't, no, niggas wasn't built like that. Niggas seen how we was rolling in there. We, we, we was rolling in there. Nigga had the meme team, you heard? So, and I'm telling you, we was cock diesel, two body parts a day, knocking dudes out. I'm telling you, I'm hitting dudes with one hit. They on the floor leaking. I'm telling you, it was, it was real, B. You understand what I'm saying? That's why, and that wasn't even, that wasn't even when I sent the nigga to the outside hospital. I'm telling you, man, <laughs> shit was deadly, you heard? Deadly, you know what I'm saying? So boom, my man beat that dude up. Um, police wind up running up in there, giving my man a ticket for um for fighting. You heard in the gym, they gave a nigga thirty days in the uh, um keep lock. You heard, but homeboy that has something to do with him getting cut got his ad got hands and feet put on his ass quick. You heard, quick. You know what I'm saying? And he lucky he ain't get blown, you know what I'm saying? I stopped my man from blowing him because my man thought he had a point to prove, you know what I'm saying? And it, you get a lot of dudes up there, you know what I'm saying? They young, you know what I'm saying? They, they come up there fresh, you know what I'm saying? And next thing you know, they leaving with stab wounds. They leaving with cuts on their face. You understand what I'm saying? All over nothing. All over dudes because dudes want to do some snake moves or dudes dudes don't know how to work with their power, you heard? And that's exactly what happened with my man. A lot what happened with the bloods. A lot of the bloods went down because dudes started abusing that power that they was getting. You know what I'm saying? Dudes was getting little power in they sets. Dudes was getting little powers in them yards. Dudes was getting little powers in them jail. You know what I'm saying? So they, 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 they yo, go eat homeboy. You heard? You know what I'm saying? And then they had it with, to the point where dudes would go do it. And dudes start power tripping, you know what I'm saying? Now everybody that they, they don't like, everybody that they got a problem with, everybody that they that they people's come and tell them did some sucker shit. Now all of a sudden, yeah, he on the wall, eat that nigga, stab that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Not knowing that, you might see that man again. You might see that man again, you heard? And you better hope you don't see him in the street, because dude might settle you, you heard? Yeah, man. So this joint was about the bloods, man, and why I left the bloods, man. And one of the reasons why I left the bloods, because it was a lot of black on black stuff with them dudes. You know what Them dudes, Them dudes started flipping on each other, man. The Latin Kings fell back. The Latin Kings were smarter. You know what I'm saying? The Latin Kings wasn't going to get locked up, losing their dates, um, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? By just keep going to war and putting in work and going down and filling up them dudes boxes you know what i'm saying because you guys remember they said that they made the 200 boxes because of the bloods you know what i'm saying but 
they they made them two hundred boxes because they wanted they wanted the money for them jails. You heard? You know what I'm saying? And all them two hundred boxes was built would give give them dudes more jobs. You heard? You know what I'm saying? So it's all about money. It's all about money.